What's going on, Chosen One, man? It's your big brother, Trin. You're tuning in again to another uh, Divine video. If you're watching this video, don't click off because I'm about to tell you something that's going to change your whole entire life. Um, if you do what I'm telling you in this video, um, I found this to be true in my own life. Um, and I've also talked to many different people on calls who book sessions with me who've also done this and they've noticed that they've noticed big changes in their own personal life when they did this okay so stay tuned to the end of this video all right if you don't stay tuned to the end of the video i'm pretty sure you're gonna click off if you're a decepticon all right other than that if you stay tuned you're gonna listen to this video because you're a chosen one listen um if you experiencing a lot of bad luck in your life right now it seems like things not going the way you wanted to go um you might be waiting on a breakthrough or something like that you know you might be waiting on some money to come through or you might be waiting on a promotion anything that you are seeking in your life right now and you're not getting it and you know good and well who you are you know i don't know who you are but if you're watching this video you know there's something that you deserve because you can feel it in your spirit you can feel it in your soul. You can feel it in your gut. Like you are not supposed to be where you are right now. You missing something, all right? I hate to I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's what I do best. Okay, I point out what the problem is, and chances are, is that you got somebody in your life who cutting off your supply of blessings. All right, I know that sounds crazy. I know I did not make the rules. All right. These are God's rules, all right? If you got somebody in your life right now that don't supposed to be in your life, but you steady kicking it with this person, and you know who, who this person is. You know this person is a De Decepticon. You know this person is a demon. You know what I'm saying? You know this person be on demon time and all this negative, toxic stuff. If you got somebody in your life that you're associating with right now and you still cool with that person, that i'm sorry to say but that's why your breakthrough has not happened yet all right that's why your breakthrough has not happened yet 80 percent, i would say 80 i give it even a little bit more i would say 85 percent of people don't get their breakthrough and they miss out on the opportunity of, of moving into another season in their life a new chapter it's because they still holding on to this one person who they know is a bad apple all right Sometimes God will not bless you until you get rid of certain people in your life. All right. And it don't matter who they is. God is a jealous God. God don't care how close they is. God don't care what, what type of role they play in your life. God don't care if they giving you money or whatever they provide. He does not care. If God don't like you, he don't like you. And you know who this person is because every time I get, a, every time you get around this person, it's like something bad happens, bro. Something negative always happens. You know what I mean? You get sick. You know what I mean? You 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 lose your job. Something happens with your kid at school that day. Your kid got a bad report. You know what I mean? You get a headache. You miss out on every every time you get around this person, it's like everything goes south. That is a obvious sign you're not supposed to be linking up with that person. It don't matter who the person is. That's what I'm saying. That's one thing you got to understand about God. God said his ways are not like man's ways. So if you probably, so you might be real close to this person. All right, you might be super close to this person and y'all might have been together for X amount of years or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Um, God don't care about all that. God's ways are not like man's ways. And you probably be letting your emotions get the best of you. Oh, this is just, oh, they messed up this time. Oh, you know, I just, I'm going I'm to forgive this person. And then, you know, the spirit, the spirit always wants you to forgive. Now, God, like what? They are literally taken from you, all right? You gotta learn how to cut people off. If they don't serve your best interest, they got to be cut off, bro. Cut the head of the snake off. You, can, you cannot hang with people who don't see the best in you. I don't know how many times I gotta say that. 
If you don't, if these people are not your cheerleaders, they not on your side. You know what I'm saying? They got to be people that's getting you hype. Like at the pep rally back in high school, they getting you hype every time you about to go do something good. They, they getting you turned up. They doing backflips to see you do good. That's who you supposed to be with. But if you're around somebody who is making you get bad vibes, that is a sign they not supposed to be around you. They not supposed to be with you. You got to cut them off. And see, some of y'all out there, some of y'all be feeling like the victim all the time. Like, well, you know, if I cut too many people off, then I ain't gonna have no friends. Oh, this is my bestie right here. I gotta keep them around because they be holding me down on times I don't be feeling good. Listen, that is some petty thinking. That's some poverty thinking. It is 7.8 billion people in the world. It's a lot of people out here that would love to kick it with you. A lot of people that would love to hang with you. You will fascinate people if you just let that person go. And see, God will try to God will hold up your whole process because he sees somebody that is not pleasing him. You don't, see, you don't know what God knows. God knows what's going on behind the scenes with people. You don't know sometimes. But he'll give you signs after signs, after signs, after signs, after signs. Cut this dude off. You feel me? Cut him off. He'll show you signs all the time. Just like before it's about to get fall time. You're going to see all the leaves fall off trees. God let you know. Prepare. I hope you got your acorn saved up because winter is coming. But some of y'all still holding on to Ray Ray and Pookie and them. And they ain't doing nothing for you. You have not elevated you have not came to a level of success yet. You have not got your breakthrough that you're looking for yet because you're still holding on to this person who is not in alignment with themselves. You, Meanwhile, you're in alignment with yourself. You're better with yourself. You're taking good care of yourself. You're taking good care of your health. You're trying to do right for your life, trying to be positive, trying to stay on the right path, but you're still kicking it with people who not want to grow with you. You can't do that and still think that everything is going to be all right. I don't understand. How can you how can you continuously intentionally still be with somebody if you know the situation is not even right? It's not it doesn't even make any logical sense. A kindergartner will be able to tell you your situation ain't even right. A preschooler better than a kindergartner. You don't got to be a genius. If something is not going, if your situation shit with this person is not the way you want, cut them off. You don't got to feel like ain't nobody else out there. Listen, I'm sitting here to tell y'all know me. I be out here all the time in the public, all the time, making videos and stuff. I see so many people out here walking, so many people out here just wide open, arms wide open, ready to take in a good person like you all the time, ready to be uh, your number one fan. But you hanging around people, they your, uh, they your enemies. They ain't your fans. You sleeping with your enemies. You kicking it with people who want to see you fail. And they only give you a little bit of, little bit of compliments. Uh, you all right. No. They, you see what they just said? It's, it, it's okay. If you did something special... Even if you do something special today, if you accomplish something special today, or if you accomplish something special uh, this weekend, and you kick it with this person again, and you know they know what you be doing, and they don't say nothing, that's who I'm talking about. Cut them off. They just wasting your energy. They just wasting your time. Probably giggling, he he he, laughing behind your back because they they can't they think you dumb. They think you don't even know what they doing, but you know what they doing. I hope God has given you the spirit of discernment so be able to see what they're doing and they're doing it on purpose. On purpose. Because you probably sit back and say, I wonder if they know that they're doing it. Man, most of the time, yes. But see, they will they will keep doing it if they thriving off of you. You got to understand, some people don't have no identity about who they are. But when they see you living in your truth and your faith, that's addictive to them. You could be somebody's addiction. You don't even know it, bro. You know what I mean? It's got it's just like it's just like how you leave standing water on the flow. Eventually that standing water gonna turn into mildew on the flow. Because the because the ground layer 
is thriving off of the moisturization that the water provides for the surface. So therefore the the fungus, the mold is created. There which in there you thou have it not. You understand what I'm saying? So the reason why you might say to yourself, well, it's hard to get rid of people, big bro, Trent. It's hard to it's hard to keep people away from me. Listen, bro. If you are a light church, if you are a light worker, first of all, you're a light worker. If you any type of thing to do with positive and you're trying to live and lead a positive lifestyle and you're doing the right thing, you will have a bunch of Decepticons and people who are of darkness who will try to attach themselves to you. It's just the obvious. It's just like when the mosquitoes is out at night and they in pure black darkness and they see a big black dark uh, Negatron, right? They can see him on infrared and see how much good blood he got and all that good black skin. <laughs> they gonna fly straight to him. They going to the hot places. They going to that the, where the light at. People are attracted to your light. People are attracted to your light. And you got to get in the habit of look, man. I can't kick it with you, bro. You ain't going in the same direction as me, bro. Like, you ain't cheering me on, bro. You don't motivate me. You don't support me and my goals and my visions. Every time I get around you, I feel like I'm drained. Even when, if even if you the type of person, and even if y'all have something going on, like as far as intercourse go, if you feel drained after, that person is toxic. I don't give a how they look. If you don't feel extremely happy and motivated and energetic after y'all do that, they toxic, bro. Homeboy hit me up the other day. Was like, what should I do, bro? My girl be making me feel like that, bro. You gotta cut her off. He don't question me. It's obvious. You don't feel happy with her. You got the ideas and thoughts of going to get another woman. It's obvious, bro. It's she. Some of y'all be still acting like y'all don't got no intelligence. It's how you can call yourself a chosen one, but you acting slow. The signs is all around. God be like, stop doing this or this going to happen. Stop doing that or this is going to happen. You won't get your breakthrough until you cut them off. Listen, sometimes what God got for you is not for somebody else to experience. It, you can't you, you can't act like you you can get make the decision for God. Sometimes he just wants you to get rid of somebody. It's just one person, bro. Oh, sometimes he just be wanting to get rid of one person out your life, bro. And he will make the floodgates of heaven fall on you. And you be like, yo, why all this happened when I left them? Because that's what God wanted you to do in the first place. Because you made the wrong decision by being with that person or or linking with that person that was the wrong move we all make mistakes we all make the wrong moves okay but it's a you got to be a wise person to know that you did make a wise move and now you have to take an alternative now a different path now that's not your right person right until you do that you're gonna always stay in the reality of just discomfort you're going to always stay in the reality of just not getting blessings. And you're going to be wondering, why am I anointed person? Why do I, why but God, my faith is so big, right? Why my faith so big, but it's not getting me nowhere or nothing. It's somebody in your life who blocking your blessings. I'm sorry. It's somebody in your life who blocking your blessings. And you ain't going to be able to get it because God already know when he give you what you, when he give you what you, he going to give you, you ain't going to do nothing but go and go kick it with them. Gonna go smoke it all up with them. God don't even like them like that. They're gonna be having a hand out. And then give me something. You're gonna go give them a whole 75% of what God giving you. God, like, I ain't doing it no more. I ain't letting you throw away the good blessing that I have for you. Not no more. No. You gotta get rid of this person. Do something for me. So I don't know who this message was for, but you gotta cut people off to get your breakthrough sometimes, man. And it's gonna hurt. But it it's better to be safe than sorry sometimes. It's better to be safe than sorry. It gonna hurt. Because like I said, usually most of the time, these be people who you least expected it. These be people who, who the school pulling up on me like that, boy? I'll ride out like that. Come on now, you tripping. 
But anyway, it be people who you least expect it, man. It could be it could be somebody who threw your baby shower for you. You be like, man. It could be your homeboy that you ball with, dog. It could be your personal trainer that you got cool with because y'all were training together. It'll be the people who you thought is going to be your number one ace boom coon. Them the ones right there that you got to cut off. Them the ones that got some shisty stuff going on and you don't know nothing about it. And that's what's holding up your blessing. It be the one you love. It be the one you thought you love. You think that they love you, but they really don't love you like that. They probably love somebody else low key. You just don't know nothing about it. But God trying to tell you, trying to show you through so many different experiences, cut them off. Slice and dice. It's real easy, right? But easier said than done, I guess. I don't know who this message was for, but I hope it resonated with you, man. Make sure you share this video with somebody who might need this message. Remember, like, folks, uh, I'm starting on my new Patreon. So I'm going to be talking to my Patreon come probably tomorrow. But you sign up by clicking the link below. Become my Patreon. Subscribe. To, get my subscription. You're going to get half of the courses I'm giving away. You're going to get that stuff for free. You're going to get to see. We're going to get to talk on video chats, all that live streams. I'm going to be sending y'all information in the post feed all the time. Get access to that right now by becoming my Patreon, becoming a member of the Chosen One Light Workers team. Okay, if you're a light worker, this is your calling. Get on my team, man. It's your big bro trend. Um, what else I had to tell you? Also, if you want to talk about this personally with somebody, if it's somebody in your life who you skeptical about, but you don't really know for sure if this the one that you need to cut off, call me. I'll be telling y'all to book a session with Big Bro. Call Big Bro. Call me. I love talking about this stuff. You see how I get off on it? It turns me on. Huh? Gets me aroused. All right? I got to calm my energy down a little bit. But anyway, book a session with me if you need to discuss with this me with this person. First come, first serve, too. My lines is open all day. I just got up the phone with a chick. We just had the same type of conversation. And she went away feeling good because she already know what she need to do now. You can be the next person. Book your session with Big Bro, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Get out of my video, man. Peace.